I don't clickbait, so let's start with the results. I'll show you what I used and how I lost my eyebrows to begin with. These are my brows a year ago, untouched. The only thing I used to do was get them waxed, and then something in my head told me, hey, let's go get them microbladed. So this is me after the treatment, and I was looking at the before and after pictures, and I realized I should have never touched my brows to begin with. Like, there's literally no difference, and I paid $650 for this. So I got them microbladed. This is the darkest that they ever were, and then it faded after three months because I never got a touch-up. So these are my brows now. I want to explain what you're looking at. Remember, I got them microbladed, and for some reason I have this faded, like, cast, and it looks almost red, like a deep reddish-brownish tone. And my hair is just won't grow back. And then also she cut off my tails so that she can make her own tails. I requested that. And now my tails just will not grow back at all. So there's no hairs on my tails, and... The hair is not growing back, and when it grows back, it grows back very sparse. So that's why I'm going on this eyebrow growth journey, putting castor oil on them, because they're just not growing back. The serum is very affordable and only two ingredients. The first thing you'll need is 100% organic cold-pressed Jamaican black castor oil. Now, you can use any brand that you want. But make sure the only ingredient in that castor oil is castor oil. Second ingredient is going to be olive oil. Olive oil has two benefits. One being it's going to dilute the castor oil so that it's not as thick. Second benefit, it promotes hair growth and your hair is going to grow back thicker, stronger, and darker. I bought this kit off of Amazon. It's just a little something so that you can put the mixture in so that it could be easy for you to apply it every night. Making the serum is very easy. I choose to mix it up before I put it into the little container because I don't want the two oils just sitting on top of each other. As far as measurements are concerned, I mix equal parts of castor oil and equal parts of olive oil. Just mix it up and then I pour it into the little container. All right, these are my results after two months. Let me explain. I know the title says 30 days. The reason I put that is because you're supposed to put this on morning and night. I choose to put it on only at night because I wear makeup during the day. And it's, it doesn't, the oil does not mix with, with makeup at all. So I used it every night only. So I wanted to give y'all true results by using it for 60 days. That would be equivalent of using it every day and every night, okay? So don't come for me. I did use it every night for 60 days and these are my results. Here's the before and after. So yes, these are my results and I am ecstatic because I did not expect my hairs to grow because I, I thought I had scarring from the microblading and the tattooing and the needles, but the hairs grew over. The microblading, you can kind of see the reddish brownish hue in the background still, but the hairs are growing over them and I'm getting my tail back, so I am happy. So now I'm going to show you guys what I did to achieve my results. First bit of advice, if you have a skincare routine, do it first. I was doing it the opposite, I was putting in the serum on first and the, I was rubbing the serum onto my skin somehow and I was breaking out when I first started using this, so do your skincare routine first. Thank me later. Now that your skin is all prepped and you're ready to use this, listen to me. A little goes a long way. You see how it looks like there's nothing on this wand? That is all you need. Do not overuse the product because you'll be doing more harm than good. It will break you out and you'll just be a greasy mess. Don't do it. A little bit goes a long way. In fact, look, these are clips from the very first day when I was taking my before pictures. This is how I was putting the product on for the first like week and a half. I was caking it on, putting on way too much, and I was rubbing it into my skin, like rubbing it in real good. And I was waking up every morning with little hairs on my pillow and I couldn't figure out what they were. And I realized they were my eyebrows. So listen, I'm showing you now, this is today's footage, of how I put this on ever so lightly, just using my finger, just grazing the top of my, my eyebrows. Not too much product, not too much pressure, just working it in real good. Thank you all for watching. I hope y'all like my results as much as I do. Go ahead and comment. Y'all know I answer every single comment. So let me know if you have any questions. 
Thank you for watching. It's Tammy the Creator, y'all.